So now I will explain the dungeon build for um, Tempest. First, obviously, we should start with skills. And before doing that, a uh, shout out to Outdoor. Actually, he shared this build with me on Discord. He sent me a message and showed the build. So credit goes to Outdoor. And for the skills, we have Rolling Surf. Uh, this kind of changes how our primary attack works. And we will talk about that when we come to the essences. And other than that, we have Breaker. This basically here to increase our damage and it creates Zephyrs, two of them at the same time, which is important for this build. We, are, we need Zephyrs to deal that extra damage. And we have Cascade. This buffs our skills and our allies too, so our uh, Zephyrs gets impacted by this. And lastly, we have Stormfree. So, and you can use Vintage or Wavage, but I choose Vintage because if you don't choose Vintage, one of your main hands stays empty. And I tested both of them. One minute damage numbers were the same, and the burst damage numbers were higher with Vintage. So that's why I'm using Vintage. And when you start your combination with this setup, first, against the boss use breaker first because it will create the zephyrs and you are gonna buff the zephyrs and then start your combo now let's talk about the sets and for the set items we are using four piece v2s and four piece shepherd for uh, increased summon damage and extra critical hit chance and v2s is pretty straightforward too for extra attack speed and increased beneficial effects duration which is important and for the legendaries, uh, we have Westwash for the helm. Cascade now floods the ground, damaging enemies while empowering you and allies within, causing your skills to unleash waves that crash through enemies, damaging them. And next for the chest, we have Deserter's Pride. Cascade also increases primary attack speed by 30% for 3.9 seconds, which is important. And for the shoulders, we have Death, Depth's Drown. Um, it increases our damage when we use Breaker. And these numbers gonna go up when we reach the Master Level 4. Right now I am at Master Level 2. For the pants, we have uh, Footprints in Abyss. Breaker now conjures two Zephyrs to ride the wave, damaging enemies in their path. And for the main hand, we have this essence, which no chance I am pronouncing this. So let's call it Rolling Blade. Rolling Surf now empowers your edges, causing you and your Zephyr's primary attacks to become sweeping sword slashes. And for the other main hand, we have Fiend Fill. Vintage becomes empowered every 6 seconds, causing your next attack to unleash piercing wind that slices through enemies, dealing extra damage and shattering their armor. Shatter armor is nice. It makes them to take 13% increased damage for 3 seconds. And for the offense, we have Sip of the Breed. Mistouched Orbs also increases your attack and movement speed by 19.5% for 4 seconds. This will go up again with your, must, with your master level. And for the second offhand we have this essence that increases Zephyr damage. Which is pretty important because our Zephyrs deals good amount of damage in this build. And other important stuff. Uh, for the curse properties you can use, uh, not this one, you can use Vexed. It will be good for summons. Important legendary gems for this build. Echoing Shade definitely increases the damage output. If you have it, you can use it. If you don't have it, it's not a big deal. Other than that, Gloom Cask is important since we are uh, using primary attacks. And rest of them are pretty simple. The regular ones, Pain Class, Mother's Demand, Blood Socket, Bottle Dope, Wipers or whatever you have, it's not a big deal. You shouldn't really change your dungeon. Sorry, you shouldn't really change your legendary jumps for dungeon builds, I think. But if you are fully focused on um, PvE, then that's a different story. And I will be releasing a legendary jump guide for Tempest pretty soon. So I'm not going to get into that too much. Now let's go to the uh, dummy and test this out one more time. Alright, now we are at the dummy. Let's see our damage. It is like 35%, 34%, sorry, 34 million, 
for 10 seconds I will I think that's more than enough because in dungeons you literally almost one shot everything and when you use your surf skill your damage goes up again so the build looks like this and moving around is pretty cool too because your surf skill basically moves around for you you surf on your water and once again i don't have specific magical attributes for this build i'm mainly a pvp player so i don't care about pv that much but still this damage is pretty nice yeah we hit 200 million in a minute i think that is more than enough but if you have better builds than this of course let us know in the comments so we can try but that's all for this one um i think i can show you the paragon too basically i maxed out everything except gladiator because my points ran out and on Silinger, i choose these ones these are my active bonuses i will share a full paragon guide uh, but right now i'm using these i didn't really pay extra attention so there might be some mistakes if you have better setup for active specialization skills let us know in the comments and that's all for this build thanks for tuning in thank you well that was all for the build let me save that